Hey guys, so I've got a small haul to share with you. I don't think I'll be attaching it to another video because I don't really have any money to spend. So, <laughs> basically. Um, we had to go to a town that was like over an hour away because my mom had to, s I don't remember, remember what the, what the, what the doctors called a urologist or someone who d deals with like the liver, the kidneys, gallbladder, yada yada. Because turns out my mom doesn't have a... Uh, Bud Chiari, but she, after further testing, they discovered that she does have a, a fatty liver, which we don't really know what that was, and we still didn't really get any answers after seeing this doctor, but <clears throat> he thinks, he ordered a bunch of blood work, and he thinks all the pain that my mom's been having on her side is due to her gallbladder, so he said after further testing... Um, she may have to go in for surgery to have that removed, which me and my mother thought that was hilarious because she's had, uh, surgery on most of her organs. Um, the only two that she hasn't had surgery on are her spleen and her gallbladder. Um, she's had brain surgery. She's <clears throat> had an angi card angi angiocardiogram I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong which isn't technically a surgery but it's a very invasive test where they shove a vein up through or they shove a camera up through one of your main arteries in your abdomen and feed it all the way up to your heart to look inside your heart so she had that She's had multiple laser surgeries on her kidneys because she gets giant kidney stones. She's had her uterus and ovaries removed. She's had her appendix removed. She had um, half of her right lung removed. Um, let's see what else. Oh, she had bladder surgery because um, <clears throat> her bladder was falling out of her. And you can use your imagination to think of how a bladder could fall out of you, and that's how it happens. So they had to do surgery to basically tie her bladder inside her. <laughs> so um, if she ends up having gallbladder surgery, then it looks like our only sacred organ left in her is her is her spleen, completely useless organ. But anyways, um, when we were in that city, we stopped at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I bought these sequins, there was a, obviously I've already taken them out of the package. I, don't, I didn't have any like regular sequins besides some green ones I got at the thrift store, so I just bought that one pack for a dollar. It's a multi-pack. Um, that's the only thing I bought besides candy for my mom's stocking, and then we went, <clears throat> uh, And then today, we went um, to yesterday's general store. We haven't been there in for for a long time. I can't even remember uh, how long it's been. In all honesty, probably since I found treasures, we haven't been there. But um, we haven't had television for over four years, so. We try and get a new movie every once in a while because my mom likes background noise. I like silence. She likes background noise. And, you know, you start getting tired of listening to something. So we try and get a couple new movies every once in a while. And so that's why we went. And I, I got the movie Garfield and the movie Shrek. I have the second Shrek movie. I didn't have the first one. Um... Because, you know, I did not grow up in, in the movie department. I really like kids' animated movies. And I also like action comedies, like like Red and Red 2. Those have Bruce Willis in it. Uh, anyways, I did buy some crafty items. Well, I'm going to make them crafty items. 
um, all their Christmas decor was 50% off. <clears throat> so I got these for 25 cents. They are, um, trumpets. And, um, they're really ugly. She had a whole mess of this type of stuff. You know, someone probably donated it from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I figured if I, like, painted it white with, like, a texture paint, that they'd look really cute. You know, they'd be really cute embellishments. And then I also got a set of French horns for 25 cents. And I think this was a waste of my money, but I'll make it work. How much? I think I paid 50 cents for these trees. And there's only a couple in here that I like, but, um, yeah. And I bought this ornament for 25 cents. I didn't realize he was, had a big chunk out of him. So he'll just be going into a waterless snow globe. Um, and I'll stick a big clump of snow over to, to cover that chip. Uh. I'm always looking at the woodland Santas now because it reminds me of Shay. Um, and I got this thing as sleighs, three pack sleighs for 25 cents. And I really don't buy ornaments for our tree, our one tree, let alone the half a dozen that we have to keep in storage because we live in a tiny cabin. But, um, but I figured, you know, it'd be really cute embellishments for something. And I got this little pot. Sitter, you know, it like hangs on the edge of a pot for, oh, I think I, I think I paid 50 cents for him. So, and I'll probably just hang him on my, my scissors cup holder, my jigger, um, because I think he's cute. And then I bought some scrapbook paper, um, I always try and buy some uh, 12 by 12 cardstock because, you know, it's a good staple to have. And the paper is you know, brown, gray. Um, the paper is 10 cents a piece. It's like a teal gray. <sighs> okay. Um, I bought this vellum. It's called Water Dots Vellum. And apparently it's from a designer and or company in, here in Washington on the other side of the water. Um, <clears throat> I live on the peninsula and because um, our state has like this piece of land that goes off into the ocean a little bit. And then there's like a bay in between and then there's the mainland. So apparently this designer is in Auburn, which is on the other side of the bay on the mainland. So, Heidi Grace Designs. Um, I'm not used to working with film. I don't, I've really never worked with film. But I'd like to try. But it's kind of like a daunting material for me because, um, you know, it can be a biznitch when it comes to adhering it down. <clears throat> and then this one was basically the same thing. It was metal dots vellum. It's, the color is so faint. I can't tell if it's like a tinge of green or, I think it may be tinged to green. But it's the same exact pattern. Just, you know, I'm sure you can see the dots, maybe. I can always see things through my camera, but when I upload the video, I can never see it. And then there's like this, uh, there's like one of these big clear sheets, and I thought there was just one sheet of paper in it, so I told her, you know, that I had 20 sheets, when apparently I had 23 sheets. 
um, this paper was so thin that it felt like there was only <clears throat> one sheet in it. But I ended up with three sheets of, um, by accident, I didn't mean to rip her off, of um, this paper, American Traditional Designs Winter Fun Classics Skate Slight Blue. I don't know why I bother telling you the names because most of the stuff is highly outdated. You know, not that I care about something being outdated, but I'm sure you can't get it in the stores <laughs> more. Um, and then I bought three sheets of this of this paper. It's kind of like a steely gray with maybe a tinge of blue. Uh, you know, it looks like snow and it would pretty much go good with anything. Even non-wintery things, I think. And this was Stella Ruby uh, London Sunset by Basic Gray. I like the colors on that. And then this doesn't have a name. It's like a sloppy green checker but i thought it would be cute on like christmas like uh primitive snowman style <sighs> this one doesn't have a name but you can't go wrong with pop prints it's really hard for me to find animal um crafting items and i have a lot of animals like the only thing i can actually scrapbook when I eventually get a scrapbook and can eventually afford to buy or to pay for my photos to be printed out. Um, it's really hard for me to find pet scrapbooking stuff. I have like a pet pad by Recollections, but it's cartoonish and it looks ugly. But my mom bought it for me, so. Um, this is like Key or Kai, you know, the KI brand. Alpine fashion. Really cute. <clears throat> I think it has like circles on the back. Alright, this is the Heidi Grace Designs, the Washington designer on the other side of the bay. I just like the colors. They're kind of out there, but I like them. Okay, what is this? Paper pizzazz. Uh, Tis the season. This is like a really extremely weird color, especially for Christmas. I don't think the camera, it doesn't look like the camera's really picking up the color well, but it's weird. And I'm not sure how I'm going to make it work. There was a lot of this same sheet of paper there, but... Like I said, I wasn't sure how I was going to make it work, because it's just weird. But, I will figure out a way. There's a will, there's a way. This is another Heidi Grace design. I have never heard of this company before, but... Then again, I don't hear about most of the companies. I've never heard of most of the companies of the paper that I buy. Um, it just says, Wood... It's a wood spectrum vellum. I don't know why it's wood, but uh, I don't know. It's just shades of green. Um, this one has no name or brand, but you know, be good for friend friend things. So what is this? Prima Marketing Calliope. I know I'm saying that wrong. Calliope Collection. Iron Orchid Designs Epiphany. That one. It's just green, green squiggles on the back. Okay. <clears throat> so then I found this one. Craft and craft, craft and craft and craft. Let's see if I can hold my hand steady.
Sorry. Really shaky. Crafting, crafting. But it has this really sparkly tree. I love this one. Holly bears. Be a good layout page for whenever I can afford a scrapbook album. And then here's my old time favorite sheet that I bought. Look at the snowman. So cute. And then um, I love the back. This is why I hate double sided paper. Because sometimes, like 50% of the time, you love both sides. And it's hard to choose. And, you know, I kind of have to choose the sparkly side because I'm attracted to sparkles. Okay, so that's all that I bought. Um, I have a tutorial that I want to do, but things have been stressful and crazy here um a couple of days ago when we were in the supermarket it dawned on me that i hadn't even begun to bake the christmas treats for the treat platters i'm the only one in the family left that actually does treat platters anymore um <laughs> so i'm i'm really getting a late start on that and i hate baking to begin with so it's stressful for me to have to bake all the time. Um, on top of that, you know, just dealing with my mom's and my health problems. And then on top of that, um, copper, our indoor chicken, is dying. I don't know what happened. Um, I was kind of self-absorbed in everything that's been happening and... I I noticed something wasn't right, but at the same time, it just didn't really register. Like, her activity level was going down, and um, she wasn't finishing her cornbread, which may not seem like a big deal, but usually she sucks it down. She inhales cornbread. And I was having to dump out the cornbread. So, you know, she didn't eat bad cornbread. Um... And then a couple of days ago, I finally picked her up, because I, I usually only take her out of the cage when I have to clean it, because she has neurological problems. She doesn't like being held. She's kind of unsteady. Um, she was just skin and bones. So she's, I don't know if there's like an underlying illness or what's been going on, but apparently I'm late to the party and all this, and... Um, I've been trying to bring her back, but it's a fight just to get her to drink vitamin water. So, basically, I'm just trying to make her as comfortable as possible for her to die. Because she's not coming back. There's, I've tried everything and I can't bring her back. So that's been upsetting and distressing. She's been sleeping in the bathroom for a few days because it's really warm in there because we run a heater in there all the time to try and keep things dry um and it's dark so we've just you know comfort care basically just trying to make her as peaceful as comfortable as peaceful as possible um so yeah that would be why I haven't done a craft tutorial, an ornament tutorial. I've got everything on my desk ready to do it, but it just isn't happening right now. But <clears throat> I may be back before Christmas to do a video because I need to alter the frame that I bought for my grandfather's picture. But I'll probably just end up doing the ornament tutorial after Christmas, which... Shouldn't surprise anybody. It's not like I st stick to holidays when it comes to holiday crafting. I pretty much do it whenever I want to do it. So, um, yeah. It's just a little bit what's been going on with me. Um, 
yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.